Hello, this is Mr. Montgomery, and this Physical Science One Lab is for my students that are either online or out of class for some reason or another. But this experiment's all about making measurements and then using some of those measurements to come up with some graphs. So if you haven't done it already, print out a copy of the lab handout for measurements and graphing, and we'll jump right in. Let's take a quick look at this handout so you get an idea of what's going on. So you see the materials, the purpose there. First thing I would have you do if you were in lab would be to you know, gather up with your lab mates and measure each other's height and wingspan. I'm going to show you some of that data on the board here in just a minute. Uh, but you'll use those heights and wingspans that I'm going to show you on the board in order to plot this graph of wingspan versus height. So you better take that data I'm going to give you in just a minute and plot that onto this graph right here. Um, after that, the next thing you would have done is you would have measured right here your foot, your hand, your thumb, your pen or your pencil, whatever you have with you. Um, you're welcome if you've got a ruler handy at home, centimeter ruler, to go ahead and do that. Um, I will measure those things in this video as well and show them to you. But like I said, if you got your ruler, feel free to go ahead and do that part on your own. And then the second page here is going to have a bunch of different items, um, some cubic shaped items, a cylinder, and a sphere. We're going to make some measurements for each of those so that you can calculate the volume and the density for each one but I'll show you those objects in this video and then I will um, call out their length, width, and height for you so that you can use those to calculate the volume and density and you have all of those formulas that you're going to need given to you on each section. The first thing you would have done in this lab, measure your lab mates, uh, measure their heights and wingspan, they measure your height and wingspan, and then we would collect the data for everybody in lab, put it up here on the board, so that when you make your graph that we just talked about, that you can make a graph of every person in the lab. So I put this data right here on the board. There's 10 data points here, so on your graph you're going to have 10 points of data. Um, may have been a while since you had to make a graph, um, but 10 data points. Uh, so you can pause here if you need more time to be able to you know, pause and write these down right here, but use all of this in order to produce your graph on the final page. All right, so I'm measuring my foot here. I know this is a fantastic camera angle. I had to get the meter stick because my size 12 doesn't quite fit on the standard 12 inch ruler here. So I'm going to mark the end of my toe and I'm going to say that's 30.9 centimeters for the length of my foot. 30.9 centimeters. Like I said, you're welcome to measure your own foot also. I'm going to measure my hand. So what I mean, measure your spread out hand. I mean, spread your hand as wide as you can like this. Measure from your pinky to your thumb. I got my centimeter ruler here. And so if I take that put it, line it up with my pinky, measure over here to just how far my thumb can reach. Uh, looks like 22.9 centimeters, 22.9 centimeters. Then my thumbnail, so take my thumb here, I'm going to measure my thumbnail. I'm going to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, so from one edge of my thumbnail to the other side right there, uh, we'll call that 1.6, 1.6 centimeters. Sorry, I got a little too close to the camera there. Um, and then lastly, you want to measure your pen or your pencil. So if I take my pen here, line it up at zero, 14, 14.1 centimeters. Okay. Now the next thing will be measuring several different objects and I'll Give you those measurements as we go. Now we're ready to start measuring your cubic style objects first. So uh, we have a block of aluminum, a uh, block of copper, a piece of brass, a plastic cube, um, a steel cube that's painted black, and then a wooden cube over here. Of course these don't have to be perfect cubes, you know, like a square, they're just rectangular shapes. Now in making all of these measurements, we're going to use this digital 
caliper. Um, and I know there's probably a terrible glare on here right now. Um, but this digital caliper, one thing you want to notice, it's going to measure everything in millimeters. So when I give you these measurements in millimeters, you want to make sure and convert them to centimeters. You're going to take each millimeter measurement, you're going to divide it by 10. All you're really going to do is you're going to move that decimal place one time to the left and you're going to end up with three decimal places on all of these measurements as a result of that. But the first thing I want to give you is the mass for each one of these objects. So right here um, I've got them you know, written out in order but you have the aluminum, the brass, copper, plastic, the steel, and the wood. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead here and give you the masses for the other two objects, the cylinder and uh, the sphere also. So if you need to, you can pause here to have a minute to be able to write down those objects and their masses. And same thing down here as I scan down to the other ones. All right, so the plastic cylinder, you have its mass 14.24 grams. And then the plastic cube is 10.33 grams of mass. So now we're ready to make our measurements and I'm starting with my aluminum block and as I get ready to measure its length doesn't really matter as long as I measure all three directions which one's length width or height but making my first measurement I've got 31.93 millimeters so again you're going to convert that to centimeters means you're really going to have 3.193 centimeters now to make my next measurement i know this looks like a cube but it's not a perfect cube and so make a measurement this time now i've got 31.89 millimeters 31.89 millimeters so 3.189 centimeters and then one more measurement to give us the height, 31.85 millimeters, 31.85 millimeters. So that will take care of our aluminum block. I'm gonna switch now to the brass block. So this tiny little cube here. And so if I start my first measurement, 9.81 millimeters. Sometimes these decimal places may change while I'm not able to see it as I turn it to the camera, but 9.81 millimeters for our length. All right, let me open it up, remeasure here. 10.02 millimeters for our width. 10.0, we'll say yeah, 10.02, that's what I said the first time. It changes a little bit here as I move it around. 10.02 and then one last measurement for the height 9.86 millimeters 9.86 millimeters all right that takes care of that now copper so copper first measurement 19.88 millimeters 19.88 measure the width 19.82, 19.82, and then one more measurement for the copper block, also 19.82 millimeters, 19.82 millimeters. All right, that's copper. Now I'm going to take the plastic block, if I can hold it steady here. First measurement, 25.27 millimeters 25.27 next measurement 24 I'm double check myself here 24.96 millimeters 24.96 and then one last measurement 23.80 millimeters 23.80 right, steel all right, so this one you can tell, definitely three different measurements, three different uh, results we're going to get here. But again, doesn't matter as long as we measure all three directions, doesn't matter which one's the length, the width, or the height. 
So my first measurement, we'll call it the length. It is the longest one of them. 30.27 millimeters, 30.27. Second measurement, 20.01 or 20.02 millimeters, 20.02 millimeters. And then the last one for this piece of steel, 9.99 millimeters, 9.99. All right, so we're done with that one. And then the last cubic object is we're gonna take our block of wood here so let me get this longest measurement first. Get it in here well. 75.36 millimeters. 75.36 millimeters. Take my other two measurements. 24.36 millimeters. 24.36. And then last measurement here. 24.07 millimeters, 24.07. All right, so now you have each of those lengths, widths, and heights. Now you can calculate the volumes and calculate the densities. And then I'm gonna move over to our other two objects. So the last two objects we need to measure. First, we have this plastic cylinder. So I'm gonna measure its diameter first, or the distance across this circle. So that gives me a diameter 25.08 millimeters. Okay, and again, make sure you're changing all of these things to centimeters, moving that decimal place, but that's your diameter. So to get your radius, you wanna take that measurement after you convert it to centimeters, divide that by two. So 25.08 millimeters. And then we need the length of this cylinder, or you could call it the height. It's labeled as height on your handout. So a height of 24.57 millimeters, 24.57 millimeters. And then our very last object, take this plastic sphere, I need to do the same thing. I'm gonna measure its diameter. It has a diameter 25.42 millimeters, 25.42 millimeters. So the same way on it, divide that by two, that's gonna give you the radius use that radius in order to calculate the volume. So I hope you were able to get all the information you needed from that video to make the calculations you needed to for that lab experiment. As always, for my students, if you need any help, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help you, and I will see y'all later.